Think of the white beaches. Think of the men. I'm going with Irving, Charlene. Hey, is it my fault you're going to a singles resort with a boyfriend? I'll be spending my vacation cleaning my storage room. Think of romping through the waves. Romping? In this? I wouldn't even sit up in public in this. Let's see. <laughs> Did you need a larger size? I want the name and phone number of the lunatic who designed this bathing suit. Come on, Kathy, we still have to get back to the office. Maybe something from the mature suit rack. I want the past criminal record of the maniac who designed the waist-high leg hole. Something with a little skirt. These repulsive scraps of polyester are an insult to the human form. That would be fifty-eight ninety-five. It was worth it. vacation. I'm covering for Jerry's vacation. It's one teensy presentation. You can write it lying on the beach. Yeah, men love a woman who looks important and involved. Mr. Pinkley, I do not use my presentations to seduce dates. I am a professional business person. Your mommy's on line one. What? Never mind, sweetie. It sounds as if this is a bad time to call. It's fine. What is it? Sweetie, your plane leaves in seven hours. You shouldn't be talking on the phone. Mom, well, I, I just wanted to mention that your father is having a heart attack about getting you to the airport on time. <laughs> My plane doesn't leave for seven hours. Well, I know that, but what, what if we get, get a flat tire on the freeway? freeway? I'd better put him on. No, Mom, I... Hi, honey. We'd better get going to the airport. The plane doesn't leave for seven hours, Dad. What if we get a flat tire on the freeway? You can pick us up at six o'clock. That gives us three hours to make the 20-minute drive. Four o'clock. You're not even supposed to be worried about me anymore. I'm a grown woman in a solid relationship with an adult man. I'm not worried, honey. I think your mother just wants a little extra time to grill you about the sleeping arrangements. Dad. Uh, back to you, Mom. Hi, sweetie. Mom. This isn't a good time to talk. We'll see you at 3.30. 5 o'clock. Uh, 3.45. You can use the pages to cover up your body on the beach. Sheesh. Kathy. <gasps> wait. Just a sec, Irving. Wait, wait. Do you have less than three suitcases? Honey, it doesn't matter how much luggage you have. Women's clothes are bulkier than men's clothes. Why are women so sensitive? Oh, my God! Our shoes take up more space. Well, it doesn't matter, Kathy. You're not going to give me the luggage speech? <laughs> oh, we all have expectations we try to live up to, and the expectations for women just require more suitcases. Oh, Irving... Mm, I love you. Let me cool. <laughs> what? Now oh, you heard me. <laughs> I've learned to understand the I love you mumble. I I, <laughs> I didn't get the second mumble. You didn't, huh? Well, <clears throat> we, we, we um sort of have to postpone our, our vacation. We we have to postpone our vacation? Yeah, Kathy. <clears throat> My biggest account call today and said they're interviewing new agencies next week. Now, if I'm not here, we could lose the whole thing. Oh, come on, Irving. Someone else could handle it. Well, see, someone else has been handling it, Kathy, and that's why we're about to lose the account. This was our romantic vacation. I know, and, and we'll do it another time. I've been on a diet for three months. Well, you can go on another diet. <laughs> 
I've humiliated myself all over town trying to find a bathing suit. I know, but you can do that again, honey. I had my legs waxed. Kathy, sweetie, I feel just as badly about this as you. You haven't squashed everything you own into a suitcase. Uh, I, know, I know. You haven't led your mother through a psychotic episode over taking a trip with me. You haven't done anything for our vacation. I feel terrible. I mean, the client just called today. Irving. If you'd spent a month looking for nail polish that matched your beach bag, you would have taken the time to notice there were problems with the account before this morning. Our tickets aren't even refundable. I'll buy new tickets for another time, okay? But I'm desperate for some time off. I know, honey. I'm so sorry. I'm... What? I'm... Yeah, I know. Get it, God. Just say it, honey. I'm going to go without you, Irving. So you're going to go on our vacation by yourself? If you can get over here before my dad does, you can use Irving to stick it. You're going on our vacation with Charlene? I'm sorry, Irving. I can't wait until you might feel committed enough to me to avoid the next client emergency. Boy, she's quick. She's desperate. We're late. You hide in your work. You take up with friends I've never met. I want to see the brochure that describes the sleeping arrangements again. You can't even say you care about me without mumbling. Kathy, I'm giving the tickets for my vacation to your girlfriend, and I hope you have a wonderful time. You're not going anymore? Hey, if it helps to ease your guilt by yelling at me, go ahead. I hate it when men won't stop! Kathy, I worry about you running off to a strange place with just a girlfriend. You've only known about it for two seconds, Mom. She's running off with just a girlfriend? We're your parents. We're prepared to have a crisis about anything you come up with. Is it safe to be there with just a girlfriend? I have to get back to the office. Ta-da! I want to see the brochure that describes the sleeping arrangement. Passion Paradise, a haven for affluent young singles seeking an exotic alternative to the phony health club scene. I just want to forget about work, forget about men. Moonlight Luau, Midnight Clam Bake, a private landing strip outside the main massage hut. I just want to forget about men, men, men! The men here look a little young, Charlene. I think you'll find everything you need here at the Passion Paradise Resort. This is the daycare center. No, men. Here's the diaper changing hut. The brochure promised men. Well, um, we haven't had time to update our brochure since the marriage and baby boom. What, single people don't come here anymore? Oh, well, sure. Like, we get some singles, but, like, we view the resort now as less of a sexy hot spot, you know, and, and more of a wholesome learning experience for young minds. If I wanted to spend my vacation with a baby, I would have asked my ex-boyfriend to help clean out my storage room! Hey, the welcome dance for new arrivals starts in an hour. Stop by. Wow. This isn't so bad after all. Oh, can you believe that dessert table, Charlene? Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. That's in the brochure. Chocolate cheesecake fudge tort. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's just like in the brochure. Charlene. Hi. Hi. <laughs> the chocolate chip pie is amazing. Thanks. That's perfect, Kathy. Act aloof. Men love it when you're aloof. I'm Steve. I'm Charlene. Well, uh, maybe we'll do a little sailing together. Yes, act preoccupied. Men love a woman who's aloof, silent, and preoccupied. Mannequin woman, yes! We'll see you out there. And if we don't, we're in hut number 45. <laughs> Charlene. Fine. If you're not even going to try, just forget it. I am forgetting it. 
This is my vacation, Charlene. For once in my life, I want to not worry about how I look. If I'm wearing the right thing. If my hair is zoomed. Whoa, okay. Is my hair okay? Do I look okay? Charlene! <laughs> Men love the maternal look. <gasps> Venus! What are you doing here? Venus, there you are. Kathy? Well, did Zenith find your Aunt Kathy? Yes! What's Aunt Kathy doing here? Aunt Kathy's on a romantic secret uh, getaway with Aunt Charlene, who's filling in for Uncle Irving. <laughs> Won't it be fun to have Aunt Kathy to play with for a whole week? Yes! Aunt Charlene has to go throw up now. Incredible! Did you see that school of fish? I could see a little flapping from up here. The most beautiful colors! How can you just sit there? There may be a lot of fish in the sea, Kathy, but I'm not going to catch any of them if my eyeliner runs all over my face. For heaven's sake, Charlene, this is an experience of a lifetime. Why do you think they invented waterproof eyeliner? Oh, very attractive. Very attractive. Oh. Well, I'm David, and I love a woman who gets involved with nature. One vending machine burrito, nuked to perfection by the coffee room microwave. <laughs> and to think, you almost gave up all this for a tropical island full of half-naked women. Yeah. <laughs> hey, the real power players never wimp out for vacations with girlfriends. Yeah. Well, actually, Kathy sort of went on our vacation without me. Perfect. There's nothing as magnificent as a woman who's guilt-ridden. I wouldn't exactly describe her parting mood as uh, guilt-ridden. But after hanging around a resort like that, trust me, she'll be coming home guilt-ridden. Don't you want to sunbathe for a while? And watch you steal the three remaining single men at this resort for yourself? No thanks. I'm not trying to meet anyone, Charlene. You had nine male snorkelers looking for your contact lens at the bottom of the ocean. The 80s equivalent of dropping your hanky. You think I threw my contact into the ocean on purpose? Let's just say I wish I'd thought of it first. Grouchy. Yes, Aunt Charlene looks grouchy. Why is Aunt Charlene grouchy? Well, she's just... Well, she's attractive. Successful. She's... She's desperate. Kathy, single women are just too focused on men. We talk about other things. It's just that... Yes, yeah, sea urchins. Sea urchins live in the ocean and give us urchin row for our sushi. Women our age are naturally concerned about... <laughs> yes, honey, striped sea bass live there too. Meeting someone, if we can't talk about it with our single friends, then... Yes, that's right. They're all members of the fifth order of vertebrates, the least intelligent of the backboned animals. You're blocking my son, Andrea. <clears throat> Sorry, Kathy. Yeah, listen, why don't you watch Dina for a few minutes while Daddy and I take a little hike? Andrea, there's a $4 million daycare center here, and I have a presentation to work on. Kathy, you're on vacation. You have to learn to relax. Bye-bye, honey. It's just that our best friends keep turning into mothers. We didn't have our single women friends to talk to. We... Well, you're single, Zenith. You know Irving. Have I been crazy to try to make it work with him? You passed up going to this resort with your girlfriend so you could stay here and deal with that windbag? Well, Hempel means a lot to me. I mean, men here think I'm wonderful, and I'm not even trying. Hey, I could have handled Hempel for you. Yeah, well, I, I believe in, in following through. Irving can't even plan a movie date three days in advance without feeling trapped. Tough call. I hate this, Zenith. I hate this. I hate feeling I've been putting too much in the wrong thing. I hate feeling I've been putting too much in the, in the wrong thing. Maybe I should just give up on Irving. Well, maybe I should really start trying with Kathy. Maybe it's time for someone new. Get me the reservations desk. Yes. Someone new. Yes. No! Wait, no! I'll grow up. 
sorry, sir. Passion Paradise flights have been sold out for months. Oh, one seat. Come on, just one seat. Normal people make their vacation reservations more than 10 minutes before flight time. Oh, so bump someone. We do not bump our passengers to accommodate lunatics. Oh. And, excuse me? Hi. Who will take $300 for his seat today? Who will take $300 and, and a garment bag? Hi. Great shot. I love sports. Do you love sports? Uh, not really. I hate sports. Want to quit this stupid game and get a cool drink? Well, yeah, that'd be great. Come on, Becky. We're going to go get a cool drink. Whoops, got to go. Where are we going? We're going to write letters to our Congress people demanding that men wear wedding rings and signs around their necks saying, I'm someone's daddy. How'd you do in the relay race? He wasn't there. Well, I guess you'll just have to make do with the 85 other men here who have tried to pick you up. I'm not trying to meet anyone. I just feel a certain attraction to that particular one. Of course you're attracted. You've only seen him in the distance. All eye contact, no threat. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? Well, let's just say I think Irving's done a little job on your self-confidence. Huh, it's classic. The man never lets the woman feel totally loved, so she stays insecure and dependent on him. The very fact that he won't make a commitment makes her suspicious of anyone who will because he has her convinced she's not worthy. Thus, she rejects those who offer and is attracted only to those in the distance. Hi. Cosmopolitan Magazine, page 234. Hi, I'm Mick. Kathy. Uh, your baby is beautiful. Oh, Zenith. <laughs> she isn't mine. Really? You're single? Well, you mean uh, single like single or single like, you know, single? <laughs> uh, single, I guess. The sort of single. Yeah, well, I guess I'm sort of single. <laughs> yeah, me too. I mean, I'm sort of dating someone, but I, I don't really know that we're going anywhere. I'm not looking for someone, but I need to sort of be open to it. Then again, I'd, I'd hate to meet someone and then have things work out with the person I've sort of been trying to... Well, yeah, sort of single. Sometimes I wonder if people get married just because it's easier to explain. I'm sort of thirsty, are you? Well, I... Well, we wouldn't have to stand together drinking the drinks. Right. We'll just get the drinks. We'll sort of get a drink. Oh, okay, okay. Who will take $400, uh, a set of luggage, a tennis racket, and, and a sport coat? Want to get some food? We could uh, walk over separately. Oh, no. I'm trying to hold it down to six meals a day here. I admire someone who takes care of herself. I look like I take care of myself? I think you look perfect. Uh, I should be uh, going. Well, I meant perfect in the critical way. The bad kind of perfect. Maybe just a little snack. Okay, that's it, I've had it. 500 bucks, the luggage, the racket, the jacket, a Kennedy half dollar, a roll of breadsticks. What do you people want, blood? <laughs> I plan all these cute little romantic things to say to him. And then the second he arrives, I go into a coma. <laughs> I practice all my great lines for her in the shower. I'm brilliant in the shower. Yeah, I'm great in the ladies' room, too. I like you, Kathy. Ooh, this uh, potato salad's delicious. I like being with you. The shrimp? It's incredible. You really know how to give a guy confidence. Oh, sorry. It's just easier to express my feelings to food. I'm more sure it'll be with me longer. I know. You think as soon as you say you like me too that I'll jump up and say I was just kidding and you'll feel rejected and stupid. I've been there. I know how it feels. I, uh... I... I like you too, mate. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> We'd need the pan, too. Oh, I'm never eating again. Me either. So, uh, maybe you'll have dinner with me later? <laughs> maybe. A woman has to keep a certain mystery, Mick. <laughs> <laughs> Charlene, you won't believe what just happened. Neither will you. Irving. Um, I, uh... He felt so guilty about staying home and ruining your vacation that he decided to come here and ruin it in person. I was just... Uh... She is thrilled to see you, but wishes you'd leave. Fine, you're on your own. Well, I am starving. Did you, you want to wanna get something to eat? Eat? Uh, um, maybe we should talk, Irving. Well, well, okay, we'll talk while we eat. I, I, I saw a great barbecue going on. Kathy, 
I know I let you down, but hey, I made it for our last night of vacation, so relax. I'm here. Yes, well... We missed you on the scuba boat, Kathy. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I mean, I'm here, it'll be just the two of us. Hey, I have a necktie. If I'd known that's what it took to have lunch with you, I could have worn a necktie. <laughs> Sorry, Bill. A romantic trip? Just the two of us? Just like you wanted. She's busy! Irving, you know how much I care about you. Mm. This potato salad is delicious. I've loved you for years. Mm. Oh, the, the shrimp? The shrimp is incredible. Oh, you really know how to give a woman confidence. You seem to be doing just fine in that department. Men here have made me feel I'm beautiful and fun. Come on, Kathy. Look, I left a million dollar deal and gave away all my luggage so I could spend a night here with you. Now, just why do you think I did that? So I wouldn't come home and scream at you? Well, yes, yes, okay, but besides that... You wanted to spy on me? Yes, okay, yes, but besides that... You wanted to make me feel guiltier than you felt. I thought you'd be happy to see me. I'm just starting to think maybe it doesn't have to be this much torture to be happy. What? You met someone. Oh, I met a lot of people. No, you, you met someone, didn't you? I, uh, I sort of met someone. Okay, you sort of met someone like you sort of met someone or sort of met someone like I gave away my sport coat for nothing. I sort of met someone like you sort of loved me. Well, oh. I've been an idiot. Look, let's just pretend we're starting the vacation over and have one great last night, okay? I already made plans for dinner. You did? After dinner? I can't throw Charlene out of our hut after all she's been through. Can I sit next to you on the airplane going home tomorrow? Of course. Irving, I've always wanted it to work with us. It's just that I need someone who involves me in what he does. Includes me with his friends. I want a man who's proud to be with me. You're gonna see a whole new me at that airport, Kathy. <laughs> Zenith and Charlene has three minutes to finish passing out her phone number, and she will be really grouchy if you eat any more of them. Dinner was great last night, Mick. Oh, I'm sorry, but... Hey, I'm sorry I can't sit with you on the plane, but uh, I know what it's like to have a sort of boyfriend show up. I just hope he knows the run for his money I plan to give him when we get home. <laughs> Promise? Promise. I'm looking forward to it. You look so beautiful and fun today, Kathy. <laughs> Thanks, Irving. I just want you to know what a run for his money I plan to give that guy when we get home. Promise? Promise. I'm looking forward to it. Wait, you left these on... Mick? Irving! Oh, I can't believe it, buddy! I haven't seen you in, in years! You, you have, have to, to meet this guy, guy Kathy. <laughs> You're <laughs> just gonna love him. This day was almost perfect. Almost? All we needed was a little passion, a little danger, a little excitement. You mean romance. you want me to hold off on my bath and watch Dallas? I like the way you think, Mindy. <sighs> J.R. would love a woman like you. Yeah, powerful, dominant. Unbathed. <laughs>